Dear viewers, thank you for watching. This talk is everything about haptics for research. I'm Hansen Butcher, co-founder and CEO of SenseGlob. Today, I will show you the importance of haptics. I will show you some example research cases. And finally, I will talk about the results and the future of haptics. gestures or pushing on a button of a controller might be sufficient enough when you're just playing a game for fun or when you do simple training tasks like moving boxes around but when things get more complexer like if you're doing a core assembly or you're analyzing your new design or ergonomics or manufacturability or even one step further controlling a robot from a distance then these lifelike interactions are really key This video you just watched shows the capabilities of haptics in a very detailed training environment together with Volkswagen we have made this use case and it's actually our research to find out whether indeed this addition of haptics causing these lifelike interactions is beneficial to the trainee. What we're actually measuring is if the participants make less mistakes on their vinyl exam if they're trained with a sense glove compared to the traditional training with controllers. Second use case is done by Fraunhofer OEM in joint collaboration with Hella Headlights. They've created an augmented reality setup with the sense gloves in order to assess a design of the new built Hella Headlight in the early phases of design. They compared this with traditional hand motion capturing from the HoloLens you see that the participants actually had a perceived better form of realism with a sense glove setup than with the motion capturing setup. And this enabled the participants to make a better estimation of manufacturability in the early phase of design, saving physical prototypes for head headlights. Next use case, something I really like. TNO, I've made a setup where they link sense glove to a robotic ripper of shadow and link that to a larger robotic system. You were able to control that robot from a distance and as soon as you were grasping an object there were four sensors that sensed back the amount of forces given by the gripper to the sense glove and you could actually feel the forces that the robotic gripper was applying. This is such a novel field there's a lot to explore here. Last use case one I want to talk about is done by Procter & Gamble Health. Where in the previous use cases, we all had lifelike interactions. Procter & Gamble made interactions that are beyond what's reality. They could let you feel how it is to have a nerve ending disease. This created awareness to general public and got the empathy to the general practitioners. Haptics is a very novel field and is already a novel field of spatial computing, VRAR. And adding that component of touch really gets an extra level of realism that is so key for increasing the results in VR training and for replacing physical mockups with digital ones or on the ease of controlling a robot from a distance. Think of all these use cases. And SenseGlove is the perfect device to start your research with. It's affordable and it's very easy to set up. Of course, as a company, we're also doing our own research and trying to get ahead of the curve and see, okay, what happens if you implement this technology? Therefore, I want to show you a video of our last prototype. Enjoy.